Welcome to Southwest Florida Real Estate Update, hosted by local Realtors, Jim, Michael, and Morgan York of the York Real Estate Group of Downing Fry Realty. Our show will bring you the most up-to-date information on the local real estate market, featuring the leading experts in the real estate field. Hi, and welcome to the Southwest Florida Real Estate Update. I'm Michael York of the York Real Estate Group, and today we're joined by our host, Jim York, and his guest, Don Ross Jr., President of Ross Title and Escrow. Thank you, Michael, for the introduction. Well, Don, thanks for coming here today. Welcome. Let's talk about people submitting an offer and the counter offer. What's the timetable of that? Well, you can make an offer whenever you like. Uh, there's, there's no limit on that. <clears throat> but the uh, time for acceptance uh, under the Naples Board of Realtors contract, or really under the statewide FARBAR contract, uh, the time for acceptance is whatever the potential buyer puts in the contract. If they put down 5 o'clock Saturday as the period of acceptance for the seller to accept the buyer's offer, that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it to the, the minute. Uh, time is of the essence. It can't be 5.01, it can't be 5.30, it can't be Sunday, it doesn't roll over to the next business day, it's that particular time. Now, counter offers, because there, there's so many of them, you, you and I run into these all right. the time, the default language in the Naples Board of Realtors contract, and I believe in Far Bar as well, uh, is the counter offer is good for two days. Mm -hmm. If you don't put anything in, uh, this neighbor form says two days. Um, sometimes the uh, owner will get another offer in that gap period, in that two-day period. The owner can actually withdraw their counter offer uh, if they want to accept offer number two. Uh, you know, you email uh, the other side, m you know, my, my client hereby withdraws the counter offer, you call the other agent, make sure they got it. I mean, it might be on the weekend again, right. they might mm -hmm. be out with their family, they could be on the boat, they could be at church. Uh, hopefully they didn't bring their phone to church, but you know, that, that happens. But you want to make sure that the counter offer is revoked before you accept the counter offer. Or the, 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 the second offer, That's I'm right. sorry, mm -hmm. my, my mistake. Uh, so time is of the essence for that. It's, it's very critical. Now, I get people all the time asking, what's customary done? Um, how long should I give the seller to accept this offer? And I tell them, well, there's a certain amount of strategy involved. Uh, if you give them too much time, uh, the listing agent might try to shop the deal around and, and, and then you lose your opportunity. So you, you got to give them enough time so that the seller can look at it and accept if they want to. But you don't want to give them too much time where the listing agent is going to go sell it to one of his own buyers mm -hmm. and then you, buyer number one, lose out. So it, it's a you know, where is the owner? Is he here in Collier County? Is he in a different time zone? Is he in a different country? Is he on a cruise ship? You know, all those details you have to look at. But I can guarantee you the listing agent is going to try to find somebody else. I mean, it's, it's their job. They want to get the best price for their client. So the bottom line is you put the offer in, you have a, a date there, and if, they, if we counter offer, then you have two days for the, accept the counter offer. Yes, which can be revoked again by That's the right. owner. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no consideration for that two days. There's mm -hmm. no non-refundable money being given to the owner right. that would make it a binding contract to give me two days to accept your counter offer. So it's revocable. Most people don't know that. Well, thanks for coming on the show today, oh, and I thought welcome. that was very helpful for all <laughs> thanks, our thanks, buyers and sellers. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Looking for a real estate closing agent in Southwest Florida? Ross Title and Escrow has over 25 years experience and has closed over 20,000 residential real estate transactions. Donald Ross Jr., President of Ross Title and Escrow and a practicing attorney in the state of Florida with a degree in taxation is here to service your needs. Call Mr. Ross or one of our four closing agents for a free consultation today. Thinking of buying or selling a home in Naples, Marco Island, Bonita or Estero, Florida? Think of the most experienced York Real Estate Group, associated with the number one brokerage in Southwest Florida, Downing Fry Realty, which produces yearly real estate transactions of over a billion dollars. Jim, Michael, and Morgan make up the York Real Estate Group of Downing Fry Realty. 
with over $275 million in sales transactions, along with offering over 25 combined years experience in the local market. The Yorks can offer the experience and trust you need in a Realtor. Call them today at 239-273-6727 or visit their website at www.NaplesYorkRealEstate.com.